Hey everybody, what's up? It's Iowa with GameStorm, and today I'm doing another video over the Halo series. Today is the very last day of November, which means it's the very last day of Halo Recognition Month for us here at GameStorm. After I did all the reviews of the Halo games, I decided that I wanted to actually put all the Halo games into a list of my favorites, going from number 1 to number 8. So this is my list of the Halo games in order from least favorite to my favorite Halo game of all time. I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail telling about the games because I did that in the reviews, but I'm going to tell a brief description of why I don't or do like this game and why I put it in the order I chose to put it in. So having said that, let's get started. The worst game in my opinion has to be Halo 3 ODST. It wasn't that great of a game and I didn't really enjoy it, so that's why I have it as number 8 on the list. I actually have never played Halo Combat Evolve Anniversary. But I kind of get the gist of it. I haven't bought it yet just because I've been waiting for it to go down in price and because it's pretty much the exact same game as Halo Combat Evolved the original. They upped the graphics and made a new multiplayer, but it's basically the same story. So if I was going to play that, I would just play the original on the Xbox. That's why I have it as number 7. Number 6 has to be Halo Wars. Halo Wars is a very fun game, but because it's not a traditional Halo game in the first person shooter sense, I have to put it as number 6. I did play the crap out of this game, and I really do like it, but I don't think it's a true Halo game, that's why it's so far down on this list. Now number 5 and number 4 are very close in my opinion. Uh, Halo Reach and Halo 3 are the two competitors for 4 and 5. I like both these games a lot, the multiplayers are really good. Halo 3's is almost like Halo 2's except they have too many gadgets in my opinion, but then Reach also added the armor abilities. So both of them have these weird gadgets, in my opinion, that kind of take away from it. And both the stories are pretty good. But I have to put Halo 3 as number 5. I think it's just a little bit lower than Reach in my favorite category. So number 4 has to be Halo Reach. Just like I said, I think it's just a bit above Halo 3. And that's why I like Reach at number 4. Alright, to my top 3. Number 3 would probably have to be Halo 4. I don't think it's as good as the first and second games, but it is pretty much up there. It's really, really fun, and I do like the way they did the story. It's a new company with 343, new multiplayer. It's just really cool. That's why I have it as number three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I only have two games left. And once I reveal this one, you'll know my number one, which you probably already know. But going through Halo 1 and Halo 2, both of them are great in their own ways. The original Halo, Halo Combat Evolved, has probably one of the best stories, and it paved the way for all the new 3D shooters today. It's probably one of the most significant first-person shooters in history, along with other games such as Wolfenstein 3D, Doom, and Goldeneye. Halo 2, on the other hand, has the best multiplayer ever created, in my opinion. It has a really good story too, and it's a continuation of the first one, so it's hard to put these in order, but for number two, I'm going to have to put Halo Combat Evolved. Even though it's a great game, I don't think it's my favorite all time, and that's why it has to be number two. Well, you probably already guessed it, but my number one has to be Halo 2. Halo 2 brings back so many memories, and it really changed the way that I gamed. It made me into the hardcore player I am today, and just changed the way I thought about gaming. Uh, made me a competitive gamer, made my skills increase. It just changed everything. This is the game that made me get Xbox Live and changed how I did multiplayer gaming for life. It has a great story, great multiplayer, great everything. So that's why it has to be my favorite Halo. It is number one. Well everyone, this has been Halo Month for us here at GameStorm. Hope you've enjoyed all these Halo videos. You may have gotten sick and tired of them because there is so many of them, but I've enjoyed every one of them that I've done. And I think Gary has too. I actually got him to play. Uh, Halo 2, which he had never played, and you know, in my book, that's doing good, so got him to play one of my favorite games, so I think I've accomplished something. So guys, thanks for watching all our Halo videos, and we'll see you next time. This is Adi, signing out.